What's up guys, we are out for a quick bike ride on the Rad Rover. So not just any mountain bike, this is a, uh, a Rad Rover electric bike. And I came to this beautiful park on this sunny North Carolina day. It's like 80 degrees in March. There's a ton of wide open space here. There's a ton of hills and flat spots and trails and greenways. It's a really cool spot. I like coming here a lot. And I wanted to show you just what it's like to ride this thing. Um, and I'm also going to tell you a very important thing, and that is how to take this 750 watt Rad Rover and turn it into a 1200 watt beast. But let's go see what it can do. Hopefully you guys can see this screen. Let me angle it some more. All right, let's go see how this is. So I don't know if you can tell on the video, but there's some very steep inclines. And we're gonna go up a few just to show you how simple it is. I don't know, is that coming through on video? Can you see just how tall that incline is? I don't know. I don't know that I could ride up that on a regular mountain bike. I'm gonna put this baby all the way up. Let's go with pedal assist five. Missed this guy's kite. We're going straight up that thing. There you go. Easy as pie. Didn't even have to stand up. Straight up that incline. Didn't even have to stand up to pedal. Came up, went up it with ease. So if you've never been on an electric bike before, it basically makes you feel like you're He-Man. Or if you don't know who that is, Superman. over here to this other real steep incline. Got the wet over here. So hopefully that's coming through on camera. I mean it's a very steep, very thick grass incline. Let's just crank this baby up. Pedal assist, five. I'm just gonna turn and go right up it. There's a lot of people out today. Pick a good line. All right there. Oh boy, I'm almost wheeling and coming up that. Dude, that was so easy. <laughs> I mean, it's like a 40 foot drop there. I mean, this thing is such a bulldozer. It'll go anywhere. But yeah. It makes you feel like you're Superman. The Whatever you input into this bike, it outputs it five times or more. I mean, it's crazy the amount of power on this. But let's go back over here. No one riding boats today. Because I got another thing I want to show you. Now, when I say I turned this bike into a beast of 1200 watts, that's what it says on my screen when I'm pedaling. So let me show you. Let's see if we can find a spot where there's not a whole lot of people because I need to 
open this thing up a bit to show you. And it's gonna, the readout's gonna be right there. Shows you the wattage readout. I'll try to zoom in so you can see it. I mean, in pedal assist too, I'm, I'm already outputting like 280 watts. Pedal assist one is about 120 watts. 100 to 120, it kind of fluctuates, which is a lot. I mean, you really don't need to ride outside of that. Okay, there's a nice uh, flat straight stretch here where hopefully there's not a lot of people and I'll crank it up here. I'm just gonna use the throttle. I'm not even gonna pedal. And I want you guys to be able to see right here this watts. Hopefully you can see that. You ready? There, 1289, 1300. Back off for a second. You can see there, I had to slow down because there's so many people out today, but it went up over 1300 watts actually when I just twisted the throttle to the max. Try it again. A couple of deer. Okay, here you go. 9,000, 1,100, 1,200. When you're on flat, level ground, you crank to the max, it can output. I mean, I saw it hit 1,300. So. This bike, which was 750 when I bought it, I upgraded it, and now it truly is a beast. You can see the speedo needs calibrated. Yeah, it's a beast for sure. It outputs over 1,200 watts now. So there's another big giant hill leading up to a pipeline. We could fly up that thing, no problem. We'll add the juice. Pedal is five. Here we go. Kicks in, it's just dramatic. <laughs> that was so easy. I don't even need, I should do pedal assist like three. But we're out uh, cruising down this grassy power line. Pedal Assist 3, I mean, it's completely effortless. Completely effortless. But yeah, you don't, you don't gotta be in shape to ride this bike, that's for sure. So if you're worried about getting a bike because you're gonna be out of breath and you're too out of shape to, to ride around, not the case with this. I'm in decent shape work out like three times a week at least six foot one I weigh 175 okay this will be a good demonstration to give you an idea what it's like riding this bike so there are three bikers ahead of me going up this incline okay that one's struggling <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it in pedal assist three and pedal casually and we are going to hawk these people down right now they've got about a hundred yards on me so watch this now we're going slightly uphill this is a steady incline i mean this gear is almost too easy i'm going to shift Okay, there you go. I really want to run across like one of those cyclists out on their, you know, thousand dollar 
whatever race bike wearing like all spandex and, and challenge him to a race <laughs> Yeah, so this bike, I mean, hill climbs. Hill climbs are no problem. You can go up anything your little heart desires. Um, I complain that it rattles a little bit. Whatever, I'll get over it. Um, but this thing's outputting some major power now. I haven't had any issues yet. Let me check here. Everybody, people have been asking me this. Does the motor get hot? check right now no it is not hot whatsoever so no it does not get hot the controller is not getting hot so doesn't seem to matter let me give you a we'll just do a quick top speed run here so you can see the top speed throttle only Twelve seventy two, twelve ninety three on the watts. saw on the flat ground I hit like 24.7 and on the on the downhill I hit 28 so I've I've been able to get this bike to consistently hit 24 on level ground I know other people have said they couldn't do that but I honestly I could get this bike to hit 24 on level ground with all the stock parts not even with the upgrade so Okay, so I will, man, you can hear these power lines humming. That's crazy. But uh, I will reveal to you the secret of my success. Um, how I transformed this baby, this regular Rad Rover into over 1200 watt e-bike. And that is this right here. That new 35 amp controller from Bolton e-bikes. I didn't change the motor, I didn't change the battery, I changed the controller, that was it. That baby just sends more juice to the motor and uh, makes this thing a serious bike for sure. And you get to get a new screen with it as well. There you go, 200 bucks, 200 bucks. And you can take your Rad Rover and amplify it a lot this thing is a lot more powerful and a lot more fast uphill more fast no it's not a real term it is quicker uphill it's easier uphill more powerful i don't know what the words are hill climb ability drastically improved top speed not really at all um acceleration way way faster than normal it accelerates way faster but check out that kit um bolt knee bikes they uh they sell them for 200 bucks for the rad rover specifically to this model i think they fit some of the other models i don't know all the details i know it fits this one mine is a 2018 rad rover and i know they came out with a, a 2019 version that has the plug that goes to your tail light i don't have a tail light on this bike my my model year didn't have that but and since everyone always asks okay so I got these mirrors on Amazon. I can put the link in the description. These are cheap plastic fenders. I wouldn't recommend buying them. They don't really work all that great. The seat is bike, bike roo, soft, super soft, squishy mountain, or uh, spring mounted seat. Ross wheel is the bag. Everybody asks about the bag constantly. Ross wheel. 
Um, and that's about all I've put on it, I guess, other than uh, the phone mount and the water bottle holder. Everything else is pretty much stock on the bike. But yeah, this controller, it's been a good, a good upgrade so far. Probably the best thing I've done to it. I mean, it's like a completely different bicycle. Completely different. So check it out, 200 bucks, you can have basically a thousand watt e-bike. So don't waste your money buying the, you know, $2,300 thousand watt bike. Get yourself a Rad Rover when it goes on sale. They put them on sale for like $12.99. And then buy the $200 controller upgrade that is plug and play. And uh, boom, 1,000 watt e-bike for 1,500 bucks. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed how you turned this Rover into a beast. Check it out, do it to yours. I know everybody's worried about the range and the warranty and mine's out of warranty, so I don't care. Um, the range, I haven't noticed any decrease in range, to be honest. I mean, I went out one day and rode it for 16 miles before the battery went down one segment. So, I, I, it's pretty rare that I ride more than 16 miles. So, the range is, has not fluctuated at all for me, really. It's just nice being able to twist that throttle and have a ton of juice off the line. It's so much faster accelerating, and that's what I wanted. I don't really care about the top speed all that much. You know, I just like to, this is my cruise around town bike, just kind of casually pedal around and, you know, when I get lazy, I'll twist the throttle or, you know, if I gotta go up a big hill, use the pedal assist or something, but I guess that's all for today, guys. If you got questions on this bike or this controller, you want me to do more tests or see me do something with it, uh, let me know. I tried to show you today. I, I don't know if it'll come up on camera well how steep these hills are, but these hills are quite steep. Um, it would be a very hard struggle going up this on a regular mountain bike. I'd have to do it, you know, in first gear, stand up to pedal and go like, you know, one mile an hour up the hill where this thing just flew up them like crazy. But yeah, if you want to see more on this, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, um, you know, check out some of the other videos I've done on this bike and the controller. I did a comprehensive review on the controller, everything I could think about it to tell you. Um, I posted that a few weeks ago, so check that out. I know it's getting a lot of interest. And, um, you know, I plan on doing some more on this bike. So hit subscribe if you want to see all those. And I'll uh, talk to you later.